Coffee Armory, proudly serving Black Rifle Coffee Company. We are at the Mountain Mall, which is right next to Flavortown, and <laughs> that huge big swing that scares the heck out of people. And this is Black Rifle Coffee. Uh, it's a, a military business, veteran-owned, and that's um, supported by some pretty famous people. It's uh, doing a lot of good work for veterans. And uh, they have all kinds of selections in here, great flavors of coffee, very interesting titles for coffee. Most of the titles for the coffee are very military, like tank, <laughs> armory, uh, you know, explosion. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And uh, they have t-shirts and cups, mugs, and uh, really nice people there. All the choices are up on the wall to read. And outside the window, well, we'll tell you about that. There's something special out there. All kinds of things to do. So we decided uh, not to have coffee. I said to, to Joy, there was hot chocolate and there was uh, a spiced uh, cinnamon cider. She said, oh, I would like to try that. As you can see, it's very military in there. Very uh, patriotic. They've got buttons, they've got patches. I think this is the wall that um, the customers bring in their patches and they display them from all over the country. These are uh, the shoulder patches from uniforms. Uh, the military guys bring them in and uh, they're glad to display them. And as you can see at the top, there's room for more if you've got a patch. Oh. This is uh, the apple cider, the cinnamon apple cider, and it is different looking. Look at that. That, I don't know what it looks like. It looks like pumpkin. Does it? I don't know. I was thinking dirt. <laughs> uh, it does. <laughs> Try that. Now. Okay, it's hot cider, and that, I guess that's cinnamon at the top. That's what it is. And you're on. It's it's very, very thick. It kind of looks like a pumpkin thing. It's cinnamon and spicy it's apple a, cider. It's a lot of cinnamon. The cider part is good. Very hot. Very Definitely good. hot. Watch your tongue so you don't burn your tongue. But okay. It's good. I'll take a sip I'll of that take, hot chocolate too. This is a hot chocolate. It's not really hot, so. Not hot? No. It's just your perfect temperature. Yeah, it's, it's not hot. Tastes good. Like. You want to stick with the cider? Yeah, I just to let it cool down. <laughs> Thumbs up? Uh-huh. That's the hot chocolate. Hmm. That's the cider. Oh, that's the cider? Oh, okay. Oh, wow, is that good. That's the best I think I've tasted in a long time. Perfect balance of apple, cider, sweetness, tartness, the fall, the coming winter. Oh, the fear. Mm. Mm. And that foam on top is really good. I better give this back or I'm gonna drink that. Wow. He's, got, he's on the hot chocolate Yep, now. I got hot chocolate. In case you didn't like the cider, I was smart. I got hot chocolate too. He's disappointed that I like the cider, though. <laughs> I was disappointed that you like the cider, but I want you to have the best. Good hot chocolate, nice strong chocolatey, creamy, perfect whipped cream on top. And it wasn't hot. And it wasn't that hot, but thumbs up. I can... Well, I said there would be a little special thing outside, and there it is. You get your own train ride <laughs> for the kids. It's a little kitty train that goes around the entire mall plaza. What's the price? 
Like you know, I didn't ask the 15? price. It was pretty uh, high, though. It, it was yeah. like 12 or $15. And uh, it's a cute little train that runs around. And we met him, and he's uh, he goes to church in this area. He's a good, good man. He's been doing it for almost two years now. And he says it's working real well. Also out here is uh, there are several um, a beanbag toss, you know the corn the cornhole, and there's a chess game out here and a tic tac toe game and there is a small obstacle course for kids and there's a chain climb and of course then there's the um, the drop and the swing. And there's, and there's Annette. Annette. And her husband Tim. came to visit into town and said, we want to meet you. So we stopped by, made sure that we caught them at the same time. And she they did have Donnie's a... hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. And uh, so we got lots of hugs from them. And it was an honor to meet them. So we enjoyed that. Um, Donnie they... had a painting waiting for her. Yep. There's the painting. Hand her. She was surprised. Kind of surprised him, shocked him. She's been he faithful said, listener. He said, don't use it for a dartboard. Oh, she was. She we had a laughed at that. Funny, funny thing about dartboards. Here's Jimmy and Connie. Here's the meetup. And there's um, Blaine and Mallory. Yep. Yeah, she sent me a friend request. Misha. And Ozzy. They are both veterans, and we thank you for your service. Misha. And there's Scott and Amber. Scott and Amber, kicking it country. They had their kids with them. They went racing and had a great time. And then fall is in, in uh, bloom now. It's in, mm -hmm. it, it looks like it's pretty much full bloom now here in um, the Smoky Mountains. Enjoy the change of leaves we've, where you are. We've seen fall from uh, color from high elevations to, to low now mm -hmm. here. So if you want to see it, <laughs> we've Come done we've done several vlogs too of different areas. We've even traveled. And to see pray, the leaves. pray for Mrs. Mrs. Spaceman Becky because mm -hmm. uh, she's she's had a, a little touch of pneumonia. So we appreciate you lifting her in prayer. And of course, it's been cloudy these last couple days as the autumn settles in, and uh, we're looking forward to some sunshine and go in and chase leaves one more time or more before this year is over. There was a drought this year, so the leaves are not as bright as usual, as you can tell, and very spotty. Some trees are bright, other trees are just like <gasps> giving it a yawn and saying, I'm done. <laughs> they didn't really produce anything this year. So we're gonna go catch some more. Thanks for watching, leave a like. Love you much. Hey folks, the mountains are calling. Thank you.